to a new plugin group video. My name is John Skippy Limpool. Welcome one and all. It is Tuesday and I'm going to start doing tips on Tuesday. So this is a tip for Unify people. If you own Unify, our own plugin, I have a couple tips I want to share with you, uh, give you some ideas on ways to use Unify that you might not have been aware of. And we'll start simple and we'll kind of grow and get a little more complex in this tip. But before we start the tip itself, I want to point out that patch number 426 has been created and is now included with Unify. If you own Unify, you log into the PluginGuru.com website, go to my account, scroll down the page, you'll see Unify Standard Library 1.0.7 update for updating the library, which is a patch updater. And you just drag that over the Unify interface and it will update all the patches and get everything working for you. Also, if you are on Windows, we have 1.0.7, which gives you under the uh, settings of option to load a .guru file without the drag and drop because on certain PC machines, drag and drop just does not work if you're in administrator mode and stuff like that. So the Mac version is 1.0.6 and the PC side is at 1.0.7, okay? Just we're clear on where we are in our settings for this date of February 18th, 2020. Okay. So we're still six weeks out. We're, we're still a young little pup. <laughs> if you scroll down the list of the patches, I want to show you something we can do with a specific patch. I think it's under synth. There's two patches. There's basic, but also useful. This has two layers. I want to show you with body wrap because it just has one layer. Okay, and what this is, it's a really useful, basic. If you're doing fusion-y things, you can work with that. If you're doing chordal, like EDM dance, and you're gonna have someone sing over it. Right, all sorts of different ways of using it. Well, so check this out. To start with, you can open up the Guru Sampler and there's access to 12 different libraries and literally hundreds and hundreds of different presets that you can just go down the list. You could go to Unison, go to the filter cutoff, make it brighter. If you want other big sounds, I'll tell you where they are. The uh, under pads. Battleborn is huge. It has this slow attack, which you can bypass by moving the sample start later. And now, and let's do this. Let's double click. So it's back to. And if we want to stop all the growing all together, just get right here late in the. So you're starting in the actual body because there's all this growth because of effects, reverb and stuff are in this sample. So it still darkens up to be really cool. Right? Uh, other bright sounds that you might want under Del Norte synth, uh, Klamath is just huge. And again, if you want to make this dark and get really snappy, just bring up this filter envelope. So there's all sorts of places to play with all these samples. So you've got all of these different folders. If you want to go to Retrosphere and call it some cool retro synth sounds like a Let's play with that. I like that snap. And I have a drum groove over here. Let's make a little sequence. Okay, so I have a fun little idea. I'm going to quantize it. Cause... So 
So let's get to be a little bit snappier, right? So we're gonna say maybe even. like that. Now, I was going to show you some other ideas of things you can add to this. And one place that's really fun, believe it or not, is adding, there's auxiliary effects of all sorts we can add. And by adding these, these are presets. So let's augment this. Let's add something fun to it. If you go under layers to auxiliary effects, there's some really cool delays. These dirt delays are really fun. So let's add a dirt delay. It's just distorted, messed up. Let's say that we want to get this to be a little bit different vibe, so let's go duplicate this layer. And I showed you those bright scents earlier, right? Let's go call one of those up. Let's go Mega Magic Pads, Battleborn. And then let's get this to have a cool rhythmic thing to it. So let's go to the bright. And let's add Pump House. But instead of being a side chain effect, we're going to use this to do a little choppy thing. So we're going to... And let's get the curve to be tighter. So it's got a little rhythmic interest to it, but it doesn't take up all the space. And then maybe we want to add something else to this. Mm, I know. Let's do radical reverb. So let's go like huge waterfall. And then let's go over here. Let's add its own pump house. To get this pop out a little bit more, let's add some distortion. Let's go over here to distortion noise box. I love this hard clip. And let's filter this. Let's filter this. So it's a, like a high pass filter. So we have the reverb. If we bypass these, the reverb has all the low frequency stuff, right? solo this and the pump house but the noise box is going to do this really cool thing where it removes all the low frequency all this frequency is gone so it becomes more of this interesting hi-hat kind of a thing almost right So doing these types of things are so fun to experiment with. And let's do this. We'll save this. Let's call it BPM Synth Tuesday Tip 1. And I'll put a link so you can download this um, and put it. Now, we're going to save this to the user library. So we'll say user library. Save new, and it will pop up and say, where do you want to save it? We're going to save it Tuesday tip one. And so let's save. Now, if you download this from the internet, let me show you real quickly how it goes. You just find your Unify folder. You can locate your Unify folder right here. Open up the data folder and say open. And there it is. And then go to libraries, go to the user library, and then you would put the BPM synth patch into the patches folder that you see here, right? And once you do that, then you go up here and you hit the little rebuild button and it'll rebuild the database and then go to uh, user library and it will be right here. And that way, when you hit play, you have this fun. Right? 
So you can start really basic and get to this very quickly. This part of the fun with Unify is that it's a rabbit hole. You just start playing and off you go, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tip. We'll do more of these in the future. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.